you get through and that's where it's all about yeah. for these two yeah it's all about making the sunday now is that in the board doesn't look like it's touching anything no it's on an angle it could be oh kurt get the magnifying glass out kurt come on Easy. oh no it didn't go in no complaint from from brendan Kurt bevins I walked across uh, from the hotel this morning with Hugh Ware, the uh, referee, and All he was besieged by Brandon autograph Ball, hunters and selfie hunters. It took ages to get. He's only 100 yards over the road. Yeah, I walked across with, with Brian Searle. He said, oh, can you hang about for me? Because I can't remember which way I'm going. I went, yeah, Six. 25 minutes later to travel, like you say, 100 yards. Now, look, I know Ryan Searle's eyesight is not the best, but it is 100 yards over the road. Yeah, you know there's that little secret way in, one, don't you? Brendan, you require 101. Right in action later on against Steve Lennon. Right, Brendan Dolan to get his first leg on the board needs 101. Went for the ball, didn't get it. So Smith's going to get a chance to break here. Brendan, you require 96. For a 2 0 lead. Plum in the 60, double 18. Games on the wow. second leg. Clinical at the back end of legs. Well, that's it. It's not been a, a fast, high scoring affair so far, but. This match starts. I'm just going to get more here. 98. You would think. 101. The way he has been finishing, I'd expect him to close it out with something of this ilk. Double 16 then for a 6 1 victory. Another match start has gone. Dolan. Well, this has to go for a break back. Seems to land one on the top of that, but he can't. He can't. And then the last start. Chucked away in anger. And Ross Smith. Game shot. Finally gets it done. Maybe not in the manner he was hoping for, but nevertheless, it's a ruthless performance from Ross Smith. And it's just over 93. Dolan, not at the races today. And Smudger is through to the last six. Not the case. Then Luke Humphreys looked like he was going to run away with it. Now, maybe Luke Littler's going to run away with it. Who knows? That's dark. Well, that's why for me it's. Probably one of the best Premier Leagues we've ever had. Well, it's certainly, interesting. Yeah. certainly interesting. Josh Rock leaves himself on 70. He's going about his business. 96, Josh yeah, Rock on 70. Prefer, I prefer a more revved up Josh Rock than one that seems almost Game pained at times. Josh Rock. Where he's just trying too the hard. Is to throw first. Everything he wants all the time. They haven't qualified for this or the next Euro Tour for a start. 94. But yeah, it's how you handle those troughs. And I think he's handling it very well. How about this? 55 left. 85. Misses tops and Vane's just got a chance to level 76. this game up. This is still very much on the day. You can... You can... Feel like champagne and play like lemonade. That's just the nature of the sport. A lot of individual sports that have fine margins of error is very much the same. You can see a golfer shoot a round of 64, and then the next day on the same course go around in 84. It's just that's the way it is. Yeah, it's on the sick leg. Richard Veinstra. Richard Veinstra levels so this game up. Three first. apiece. Veinstra yeah. has the darts. So a dark break of throw and 180 in the leg. Immediately pressuring Veinstra on his own throw. Has not led at any points in this match. His flyers. 434. Josh Rigon, 26. Ball. Good. Beautiful ball. 15 dark. Oh, no, it was, oh, God, it was a 12 dark break of throw. throw first. Game on. Well, best leg of the Josh finish, but Josh Rock should have two visits from here. Is that the fourth troublous visit in the 
89. Richard Jr. Coyle, 167. was a big bullseye because Josh Rock by hitting the ball instead of the 25 should get two match starts. 55. Can he take either of them? Get yes, up. he can. Hey, Josh Rock, look at the scream for the young man from Northern Ireland. And then an apology to Richard Vainstra. No apology needed. The Dutchman made it so, so very hard. Having never led him again, he became favourite for a fleeting moment. But Rocky manages to withstand it. And it's through to the final day, the German Darts Grand Prix. Grouping to die for there. We'll check out the finish now. And a treble 20 will leave him tops. Ooh, now then, that was a poor dart. He'd rather that last one fell out the board. Gone from being on a two darter to a three darter. 95. That's just enough for Chris a tie ski. Give himself an out. Great first start. Double 16. Game well finished play. off in the end. That could Chris have got Dolby. tricky for Dolby. But he makes the three dart combo and he leads by two. One. Ratajski's not done yet here. There's an argument as well from 164. If you don't get the first treble, you can be clever, use the bullseye 94. in the 19s, Chris, you get yourself to 100, leave a two darter. Once again, he's going to have to use all three darts. He's not going to go straight at the ball. It'll be 18 for double 16. Has he got this one in the locker? First ton plus finish of the game. Yes, he has, and a roar from Doby. You don't see much of that from him. That was a big moment. Yeah, it was. His last two legs have both been three dark combination finishes. And he puts Ratajski on the back foot. It is only one break of throw, but look at that. Even if it doesn't go in this visit, there are match darts on the way. 14 in tops again. Double top for 6 4. 25. Well, the comfort blanket is there. He knows he'll be back. And he knows he's one dart away. A place on the final day here in Munich. 134. Tops then Chris, for a 6 4 40. victory for Chris Dobie. Game and Dobie seven. delivers in Munich. Chris Disappointment Dobie. for Christoph Ratajski. And whilst Dobie didn't hit the heights of round one, he's safely through to the last 16 as he chases down a first European Tour victory. Dobie is through. It's been Ratajski. At around five o'clock this afternoon, it's going to be even more of a challenge. One Beautiful from Joyce. See, it looks a simple throw. The mechanics look quite straightforward. Yep. 97. Why he's held in such high esteem. 138 then. Not going to go here, but he's putting Petretsko under big pressure now, and he's going to be sat 98. on top if Petretsko can't take out 118. Got to hit a treble, and he doesn't. So Joyce is coming back for a second 44. break of throw. Yep, for the double break, and to be halfway there in the blink of an eye. Is it going to be a 14? Sure is, so 15, 15, 14. Couple of 180s in there, the double break of throw. This is all Joyce. It was interesting as the fans finding their voice here. It was interesting, wasn't it? There, there was silence against Ryan Joyce. There was no... Say hatred's the wrong word. There was no pantomime booing or anything like yeah. that. It, they just... Oh, right, OK, he's here. Yeah. Vanilla. Yeah, we'll watch him. Well, he's uh, getting them cheering now because he's going well at the minute. Not a seat to be had here. But there's any the hottest ticket in town for sure. 140. He's expected Petresco to fill that up, but he's looking good for a first leg of the game here. 40. Ryan Joyce Ricardo, has given this leg 64. up for now.
Cops then. And tops he gets. So Piotrzko is off and running. Much the delight of the locals. That's the loudest they've been. Game on. Yet to have a leg over at five visits. Start for Joyce. From Joyce, is third of the match. And he's potentially two darts away. 100. Ryan, you require 91. Ryan Joyce, possible 11 dart leg. Ooh, maybe not. Don't mind that play with... Oh, I don't want one eight. Always, oh, what a recovery dart that is. 77. So, a match Ricardo dart miss. Petretsko to stay alive. He's got to take out 101. Great start to the combination. Nine just hit, just rechecks himself. Shot of adrenaline, nearly hit the wrong double there. And he's looking down. A double 16 to stay alive, 69. and he has missed. And Ryan Joyce now Ryan, comes back to the board, 14. hoping to tidy things up. Humphreys or Woodhouse away in the last 16 tomorrow. But Game Ryan Joyce will be there waiting. An Ryan impressive Joyce. performance, averaging over 102 for Ryan Joyce, who follows up his first round win over Kevin Dukes with an impressive performance. Another German falls by the wayside here in Munich. European Tour 2. Ryan Joyce is through to the last 16. He's been Ricardo Priotresco by six lengths to one. Through the dark. He was to try and throw at a quicker speed, he wouldn't have the dart in the hand as, as he would want. Bullseye. He's missed, but it's a good miss because while it was nowhere near where it meant to be, he's left him on top. Come back to that point in a minute because Bunting's looking to level this game up. Sixty for thirty-six. First bit done. Okay, good miss again. Eight. That wasn't a miss, it was a switch. And you require <laughs> 40. No score. You can't believe it. Steven, you require 16. It's Ronaldo, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, the there we go, Steven one apiece, Stephen Bunting dodging four machine gun bullets to take that second leg. Jermaine steady on, 180 for the third leg running. The channel, I do believe. Michael Smith against Cameron Menzies gets things underway, I'm really looking forward to that one. 103. Bunting misses the ball, it's just to hold his throw though. Switch to double nine. It's a tricky switch. Steven, you require 25. Oh, he's looking up, but they won't help you. Fortunate there not to bust it. He's been a little 17. bit snatchy on the doubles, hasn't he? Dwayne, you require 18. Surprisingly so. We've both missed a lot in this game so far. The scoring has been excellent. The double, it is now 11 darts missed at double for Jermaine. Steven, Bunting has missed eight. seven. We're only in leg four. No <laughs> score. Well, he's hit a double. Jermaine, but that's the wrong one. Two. Yeah, it's on the fourth leg. Jermaine, what a mean. Well, well, got there in the end. Did they, Jermaine, to throw first? I mean, yes, Game it's a, a long leg, but not that long. It was only 19 darts in the end, and it felt like it was going to be... ...in his way back. Bunting is working his way back into this game. Double eight for a level match. Moving over to the left. 
53. See what he was trying to do. Yep. Jermaine Uribe, 123. Two bites of this, only needs the one. Double nine. That come out of his hand, he would have felt like woof. Steven that's in. Eight. He's dodged another one there, Bunty. What is going on with the doubles? What is going no on with four. the doubles for both Jermaine of these Uribe guys? Nine. It's catching. Bunty is Steven two from 17. Eight. Jermaine is three from 17. The doubles must look razor thin to these two at the minute. Like the champion's choice. No He's done it again. Yeah. Jermaine, you require four. Yeah, it's on the sick leg. Jermaine, what I mean? Some legs, Jermaine, throw first. A few of these smelly ones Jamie. now, hasn't he? It doesn't make sense. The troubles are smaller than the doubles. Significantly smaller. Maybe they want to try and change the rules and they can finish on a treble. It is baffling. Jermaine Watermano has hit five. That's a little indication of that drop-off. That he had in his four. Yeah, that's a, a real lean spell. 140. The Masters champion has got it all on here. Good leg from Bunty. But despite it being a good leg, he is still very much second favourite. Double 12 for 5 2. Double six. Game. 12 data, Jermaine Watermaina. The Dutchman is a leg Game. away. Game. Yeah. He's just, he's just grabbed the game by the, the scruff of the neck with that. Well, to get him within touching distance of the final day. Seven legs. They've had 40 darts at a double. Game. Chasing the treble and dragging low. This to win it. Well, it's not going to happen. All over the shop. Forty. But you've got no confidence when they're throwing at doubles either, man. And when it comes to last start in hand, with all that's gone before in this game, you just don't believe it's going to happen. But Jermaine Watermaina has made it happen. It's a 6-2 victory against the Masters champion. A game with enormous scoring, woeful doubling. But Watermaina was slightly less woeful than the bullet. And it's a little jig of joy for Jermaine, who books his place in the last 16. That's the 58 from Lennon. Leaves him vulnerable. That's frustrating. But makes up for the last start. See you to go 126. Well, 19's the route here. Four of them for a shot at the ball. Well, there's three. Well, bullseye for a 1 2 6. 401. Right, oh, wait, wrong 78. direction. Cancel, step in for a second break. 20 in tops. He hit tops for a third leg running. Yes, yes he can. Leg. Ryan Searle has his range on Point double top. And that is it's just too many. Five six incoming here. It was on after that first dart, but it's on for a 13 dart, a double eight remaining, unless Lennon can haul this one in. He surprised himself how far he was away from the target there. Gets it right with the last dart. And Steve Lennon is moving further in the tournament. Trouble 18. 96. Not right a good position to be in when you're having to take those sorts of shots out. A start on the ball here, sir. Treble 20. Did not find it to get a match dart at the bullseye itself. 64. Which is nowhere near Steve with the setup shot 68. anyway. 68 then. 
come down the left hand side of the board double 16 to stay in the tournament and he's missed it Ryan, and that might 71. be all she wrote as Ryan Searle looking oh, now he's it big two but he's only going to be a shot at the ball for the match and he bends 36. the wire Stevie Dequire, Lennon, 32. only just still in the tournament here in Munich it should have been a better match winning chance that oh another double eight You've got one in there already, Steve. 16. But he could not find his way through. Ryan require 25. So Searle, 17 for double four. That's his route for 25. 17. There's two more match darts that slip Steve away from heavy metal. 16. Mm. Well, we hit this in the last uh, visit. Can he hit it again here? Oh, dear. Yeah, it's on the seventh leg. Eventually Steve throws his arms in, in the air. There it is. 5 2. Fifty seven. Steve Lennon is usually opportunities incoming for heavy metal Ryan Searle. Two questions remain. How many does he need? And will it be Gerwin Price or Peter Wright? He faces in the last sixteen. His double top. 33. A rare miss. Oh, is that five miss match darts he's had now? It is so far, but they're the first ones he had at tops. He's been deadly on that particular double in this game. Well, it's double ten he needs for a comprehensive victory. And double ten. He will deliver. Ryan Searle is through. Not quite the heavy metal that we expected. Race into a 4 nil lead. And gets it done. Scuba Steve Lennon is... Prize many, I presume. Well, he's left himself on a bogey there, Gurney. So cross here, going the 18 through. The trouble 20 would have left the ball. Didn't need to go for it. And now it's all about the layup. And the layup is impeccable from Rob Cross. And yeah, he'll be back for... I would guess he would split that, but... 60. Robbie required 38. 38. Split it, he will. Double 16, then. Again, he's not quite happy with a lie of the first start, Game but... On the second leg. It's the second winner Red over the top, and it's 2-0. Yeah, his adjustment is an indication of... Game on. A lot of practice. You just begin. It's a good performance. 140. Devil, you require 112. 112 then. Just the one treble needed. Can't find it. So Cross is going to get a look at a big one here. 60. Rob, you require 142. Rob's cross, Rob Cross's throw at the moment. Sometimes it can look just look a, a little forced. Looking as smooth as silk at the moment. Double 17, isn't it? One hundred and eight. He does have his own Delhi way, and I've had, I've had many a late night discussion with Rob over this, but it's hard to be critical. <laughs> yeah. Double 18. This is now a huge dart for Daryl Gurney, and Game a huge dart is delivered. Leg. Delgurney. Well, Cross will argue Fifth all the doubles are the same size, this. but... One hundred. Only a ton for Gurney. Cross is just doing enough here out in front. We're looking at the round of 16 tomorrow. Michael Smith or Cameron Menzies will play Josh Rock. Gerwin Price or Peter Wright will play Ryan Searle. The winner of this one will play Nopper of Van Veen. The winner of Humphreys Woodhouse plays Joyce. Ross Smith plays the winner of our final Robbie match this afternoon. 66. Dirk against Aspinall. 66 needed to move within one. And it'll be one dart at double 18. And one Games dart is all it takes. Leg. Clinical from Cross. Doobie. He's got two chances on his own throw. 
to win this. Again, there's Del that Uber prolific triple 18 hitting. Double 16 then for Gurney. Eight. This could do with going. Oh dear. No score. What's his score? Well, Rob Cross gets an unexpected opportunity to take out the match here. Needs one or two. Oh, fancy this. 84 left. Double 18. And he set it up. Get and he finishes it beautifully. Right Brilliant on. doubling again from Rob Cross. He raced into an early 3-0 lead and he never really looked like being pegged back. Daryl Gurney will be disappointed with that. Rob Cross, an efficient performance. The six players above him, five of them were title winners on the Euro Tour. The only other one was Damon Hetter, who was similarly consistent. Now, what is Nathan complaining about? Is it the marking being a bit slow? Yeah, maybe. One hundred. Get a, a better Did look, but he's certainly being put off by something. Oh, another. Oh, Dirk van Dijk van Bode, double 16 for a 140. Monstrous, brilliant. Dirk is back. The Rob Cross. <laughs> 14 dart hold, 12 dart break with a Selected massive 140 checkout. Game on. This is the Dirk van Dijvenboder of 12 months ago. Yeah, this is the version of Dirk that... He is fuming. Forty five. That will make him even more frustrated. Fortunately, only a max, really. Or a, a nine count on big trebles would have... Caused him any issues. Still has six at this. On the 19's route to try and leave tops, which he's done. 76. Does not pin. Currently it. And a nice little run in the Premier League, Nathan Aspinall. Sat fourth on the table, so in that top four, which is where he needs to be. But the majority of his points have come in the most recent weeks. Three finals in the last Nathan five weeks, winning one 40. of them. Nice little spell that he's having. Yeah, and just a a great moment Games in the building belief and confidence to win a Premier League is it's huge. Game on. Yeah, it's the market. He's not the bullseye at the end of a big combat. Yeah, and he's offering up a break back here for Nathan. It's a bit unfortunate. One That's a wonderful dart. Maybe a Nathan Aspinall fan. Forty-eight. Oh, that's no good to him. Nathan, you require ninety-eight. Uh, Nathan has given a little bit of breathing space here. Very splits and Game hits, and it five. is a twelve garter Nathan to break the Van Dyven Boda throw. Ironically, Nathan it was the one time Game he on. didn't. Dirk on at least a two dart finish, if not a big single to double. 60. Do you require one? Well, we could have some more pivotal darts at the bullseye in this leg, whether it's for Dirk or Nathan. It has been eluding the pair of them thus far. You can get a go at it this time, Dirk. 58. But Nathan might need it. Now, Nathan, you require 88. How many times do you need to go at the ball before you hit it? Doesn't need to. Double 14. 4-4, four, four, and the Asp is right back in this. Nathan Aspinall. Nine players to Absolutely outstanding for Nathan Aspinall. He has got this back to 4-4. Four, four. And everybody else. That's some real high standard. There's a comeback. Maybe there's another twist. Lock the commentary door down. 43. Much and it's a suspicious look to the Nathan, arm for Dirk Van Dijven Boda. Double 18. It's found. Match dart, Nathan Aspinall. 92. 
Duke of Acquire 180. Well, this wouldn't surprise me one little bit. Oh, 48, I think. 48 ball 40. could have been the better option. And that's just Nathan frustration, isn't it? 18. Yeah, and the Andy's tried to hit double 19 to leave himself on a double. I don't think it's a wise shot. But he does not matter because Nathan Aspinall completes the comeback. He looked dead and buried against a rampant dirtbag Ivan Boda. From 4 1 down, though, he cleared off five consecutive legs. And he's still going to have words with the marker, even though it'll be a happy Asp who books his place in the final day of action here at the German Darts Grand Prix. He went all the way to the final here last year, only beaten by Michael Smith. However, he is looking to go one better and claim a maiden European Tour title. We'll hear from the Asp. We'll see.